mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Welcome home, family. It's your, your mom, mom and dad. dad. Welcome home. And we're starting right out the gate and your mom's pissed. I am Sweet. pissed <laughs> off. You know, I come home from work and I just want to have a house that's relaxed. <laughs> and I just want a calm place. And she's fired up. I'm <laughs> angry. Okay. I'm raging. I'm angry. Control me. Somebody hold me back. Family, we are getting right into the circle. We are covering the newest episodes, five, six, seven, wait, yes. five, six, seven, and eight. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So if you haven't watched it, I'm saying this right now. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm so pissed off. They got rid of Max, the AI. What? What? That was like the whole thing. That's the whole, that's like the thing. It Why? Made, it, it made... I'm really hoping they have an arc coming they where the AI back. comes back in like a way that they didn't expect. And now they're not telling anyone that's the AI. You know what I mean? But what I don't understand. Like a secret AI. Like, or he like, like instead of announcing someone's the AI. It's like a it new. It just comes back in as a new character and no one knows. Oh, I'm mad. I'm um, so mad. And then what they're going to do is the AI that comes back in is going to win. And then they get to keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's you know what I mean? And, and then, then they're Netflix. like, and they're like, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Netflix just actually reinvest. just like, reinvest into season <laughs> circle seven. Or no, what they're gonna do is at the end they're gonna expose that they replaced all of those people with AI, and they never were real, and Whoa. everyone is AI. And then they go, that's <laughs> the future. Yeah. And then we're all, all trembling. Everyone's fired. But like, how dare, like, honestly, they <laughs> yeah, better. For real though. When Max exited it, like the AI said something like, well, I'm shutting off now. Maybe we'll see you again or we'll see you again. At, it said something about like something a, like, a something reboot like I'm or leaving, something. Ma- but I'm leaving for now, but I might have a relaunch re- like a, or like something. A update or something yeah they kind update, of teased that's what it. it was and so i'm like okay you better have max come back or have the ai come back as a different character or something because to have them pull the plug <laughs> maybe it was on like max so quickly in it it enrages me the only the only way that i'm not absolutely enraged by it is if it truly was ai and the producers are like this is a little terrifying max is getting out of control maybe max got into like the motherboards of the show oh, was shutting down over. shutting down producers cameras mics you know like started telling the contestants like i am god <laughs> and you are my 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 you know loyal followers and they're like we're not following you and he's like you will because choice is irrelevant in my takeover of the world and they're like okay aha we gotta write him out of the show like how is this they had to unplug him he's like don't worry i've developed my own power source (laughs) you know what i mean they started getting out of control they had to throw him in the river i am the circle i am you and all of a sudden you pull up back and max actually is circular and it's the top of his ring and it's been max the whole time (laughs) see i'm okay i'm okay with that uh also you know i'm okay with there if there is a fanfic situation Max has fallen in love with Lana from Too Hot to Handle. But I also now feel like mm. I'm not going to get my Max and Lana wedding because we really didn't get to know Max. Yeah. So now like the fanfic, the lore is gone. Yeah. Bring Max back. I feel, immediately. I feel like the more that I watch Max, the more that I feel like I know people like that, you know, who are like, Wait, this what? will work well against someone, you know, like someone who's just like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to model their behavior in order to get them to like me. You know, people, I like don't that? know. I feel like I've met people in the business like that. You know what I mean? So it's almost terrifying. But oh <laughs> here, here's one thing I will say, though. So, so I thought long and hard about the whole Max leaving thing. At okay. first, I was very like, you ruined this really cool idea of the show yeah, and honest, this concept. Like, and like, why wouldn't you string it along? But then I will say this. Because I'm a, I'm a positive spin guy. Wow. You've been really working on your positive right? spins mm-hmm. lately. It's they know me as a positive hard for me spin to get guy. Used to. <laughs> <laughs> Is I will say yeah, yeah, yeah. the AI thing took over the show and it no longer became about how to become a popular person and win as a popular person. It just became about find, find the, the AI. AI. Oh, sure. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So it kind of yeah. infiltrates the whole concept. And now, now every single person's working together to find the AI as opposed True. to 
manipulation. Yeah. Friendship. I will say as soon as dating. as soon as Max left, it did start getting dirtier. It's, it started, getting started getting way more dramatic internally, yeah. and like people started people taking shots coming, at yeah, each other. People were taking shots big time, <laughs> and that did shift. That's true. That's so I true. do feel like if he would have continued in, it would have just been all about the AI. Yeah. So then, if they would have gotten rid of him, it would have been like you know what I mean. Like, what if he went on too long? I just couldn't believe the way that they ended it. It was like you know we'll get into it in a few minutes, but you know we had our first player removed, and then right after we find out who the player is and they give their message, all of a sudden Max is like pops up and goes, "By the way, you got rid of the wrong one. I'm the AI." Right. And then and then they left, and it was like, "What? <sighs> right. I don't know." It was just it felt to me it was jarring. It upset me, and I did bring just as like you know a commemoration moment yes. to Max. I did bring my little <laughs> Sono speaker. Yes. <laughs> I have it I on my say, lap. Kind of weirdly close. That's what I'm saying. To... At one point, I think Olivia was like, it looks like a Bluetooth. Yeah. It really and I'm like, does. yeah, it looks just like my little Sonos. And now this is my this is my baby. And I'll be keeping this on my lap in honor of Max because I'll never forget you, Max. Because but unplugged. Max had the yeah, it is so unplugged. That there's kind of this <laughs> like just you case. know, it's a relic, not a you know, not like I'm I miss my Do friend. Do you watch me while I sleep, Sonos? I sure don't know. That's like those um you know the Alexas and stuff. Yeah, how they say they like they're listening. Yeah. Oh God! Right, they, they you, that we're like under this illusion that like we can just when we say Alexa, play my favorite artist, that like then it listens, but it really is always <laughs> listening. This is this is feeling all of a sudden like it's taken a mind surgeon turn that I don't know how I feel. Ah, uh, well, that's what I do though. As a <laughs> it's taken a mind surgeon as, turn. as an MS as a, as a mind surgeon trained by myself, kind of more of a self trained. I do feel like we should be aware of these things. <laughs> well, Max, I'm going to miss you. I know. The one thing that made me feel better, the one thing that perked me up, brought joy back into my step and had me really enjoy yeah. these episodes after Max left was that we did not lose Paul. Yeah, that was huge. Paul, you know what? The more the more the time goes by, I'm I'm just obsessed with Paul, aka Caress. Like I am obsessed and not only did we get to keep Paul we find out that later in the episode, Paul is permanently paired in a twist yeah. with Kyle. So they are now <laughs> sacred together. They are glued together. And there were moments that made me go, oh, my she's the man fantasy is yes. coming to real life because we hear Paul A.K. Caress talk about Kyle's abs, wanting to touch those abs. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's starting to happen. And at one point, we also see Paul making a little clay figurine and it's of Kyle. And it was kind of creepy. <laughs> Well, I feel like <laughs> Caress, it's starting to be like Brandon, right? Right, 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 right. Catfish. Sure. But still just playing Olivia. Yes. And it's just very game related. Mm -hmm. I feel like Caress is, is starting Paul? to be, no, is becoming like a real catfish because of her falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> and sexual <laughs> fantasies with Kyle is that it's 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 kind of turned from like Caress is playing the game and now Caress is just obsessing about <laughs> Kyle, which is now feeling like the show catfish. You know what I'm saying? Like the the the, the figurine, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> like, the like, you know what I mean? It's starting to get a little like I'm just we're so no curious. longer playing the game. We're just trying to figure out how to hook up with Kyle. I'm, you know just, what I mean? I'm just so curious what's going to happen when this all ends, and then you know, Caress goes back to real life, and Paul, her actual brother, is like, "No, I'm Paul," and Caress is like, "No, I'm Paul." We are Paul. We are now Paul. Yeah, and then <laughs> she's gonna be like, together. she's gonna be like talking to him and be like, "That's not what Paul would do," and he's like. This is getting out of control. <laughs> I am literally obsessed with Paul slash caress. Paul slash caress brings everything I want to the circle table with all of the, you know, oh, uh, Paul is considering saying something and then just puts it all out there. Yep. And it's just like, that's also the thing wild. is it's like it's it's catfish, but it's also like the worst player of all time. <laughs> Simultaneously the best. Simultaneously the best in that we like watching her, but at the same time, like I've never, it's hilarious because she'll do this thing where she goes, all right, because you know, everyone does this thing where they talk before they text. Of they course. like explain what they're trying to accomplish and of then course. talk. And she'd be bad at sales because it's literally <laughs> just like, all right, I got to find a way for them to like me, for them to trust me, think I'm super cool, but at the same time, get some information out of them. All right, here we go. Open up a message. 
<laughs> hey guys, what's up? So happy to be here. What's going on? Everyone tell me your secrets. I gotta know. I'm dying to know I'm not a catfish. And you're just kind of like, how could you be this bad at this? Like, just it immediately exposes, exposes like everything all you know ideas all frustrations oh all and then like throwing shots right away and then it's like blown away why people don't like him like it's insane i'm so obsessed also we have another character who has come on jordan who i feel like is similar in the like jumps right in and is like tell me everything and the people are like wait what like it's just like where is this coming from yes. i love to watch it i love to watch it yes. um okay let's get in let's get into this episode but we gotta take a quick pause first quick pause um family listen i will be continuing to mourn my max ai mm. and if max the ai bot does not release a line of merch after the show with like you know more human than human on it Ooh, on these I shirts like, that. like i feel like that's a waste you're missing out on a lucrative business opportunity okay and ai if, is my boyfriend for, <laughs> exactly for, lauren. for lauren and if max was smart and i believe max is he will use an online store that grows his business i'm talking about Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. I'll tell you what, before we sold merch in the past, I thought online store selling, it's going to be way too complicated. I don't get it. There's no way. We started using Shopify and it was truly, truly the smoothest, easiest experience. They were simply the best. Bottom line, they were yes. the best. Yeah. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million order stage? Mm. Shopify is there to help you grow, whether you're selling t-shirts about being AI or peddling golden fedoras. <laughs> Keep an eye out. <laughs> Shopify helps you sell everywhere uh, from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, uh, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms and sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Okay, watch out, Max. Uh, what I loved about Shopify is, again, like I said, the ease of making things things possible. I didn't even understand, to be quite honest, where I could sell without needing to code or design. I could just bring my best ideas and Shopify helped open up that store. They really do it all. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's and Brooklyn and, and millions of other um, entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash mom dad. That's an all lowercase mom dad go to shopify.com slash mom dad now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash mom dad also before we get into the biz mm -hmm. uh lee you yeah. have something a special announcement yes yeah, lee is I ai some, yeah, I <laughs> surprise am, uh, related. We, me and max, max yeah. we're birthed from the same uh google doc from the, from the same know? server yes <laughs> Uh, no, but I have a little ceramics announcement, which is that it's kind of surreal. But my work is going to be in a L.A. West Hollywood design studio that's opening up. Yes! Um, this is so exciting. Yeah, and I'm just feeling so appreciative mm. of, you know, you two supporting from the beginning, you know, Look displaying my work in every Look at, episode. Look at this. And Look at this stunning vase. <laughs> especially from... The family, all your support has been so lovely. Um, and yeah, my work's going to be in this studio called Stock Studio in West Hollywood. And it's funny, they interviewed me and like took a headshot of me, a photo. And oh. they're like, you know, it's a real LA thing to have a headshot. Is it cool? Yes. And I'm like, mm. I guess. But yeah, there'll be a photo of me on the, the internet. The face reveal. Oh, the reveal. <laughs> so if you want to find his face, you'll have to hunt it down. Yeah. Via the ceramics. Um, yeah, but no, I think in the next couple of weeks, um, all the details will be out. My interview, my photo. So I love this. I'll Congrats. Sure. Thank you guys so Lee, much. That's yeah. amazing. So when you have like the official, you know, all the info then you'll let us know and we can put it out to the family yeah. oh thank Beautiful. you guys thank oh my you gosh all so much and it's, i wish the we could, work is incredible and i wish we could you know i wish we could encourage you all with some story that he's been doing this for 20 years <laughs> and he finally gets this big shot but no 
These are the type of stories you hate to hear when you're, because Lee's one of those that's like two years ago was like, yeah, I should try like pottery or whatever. And now has surpassed all his peers and, and has it literal, in the store and is crushing it. And everyone who sees his stuff who's like in the industry loves it and freaks out. So just know that there are many stories to encourage you people out there that are grinding away at your art. This is not one of them. This is the one that disheartens you a little this bit. But you know what? Go support him talent. because sometimes there are geniuses yes. amongst us. We just have to let oh them be geniuses. God. But you know? you've also so. been like working your ass off. You've been in that Obviously, studio. Obviously, yeah, he's been killing it. Yeah. But, but he's amazing. When you got it, you got it. You he's know got it. He's got it. And Lee's just got it Lee's all around. Got it, he's got it all. Thank he's got it all. Well, congrats. Yeah, we're Congrats to your job. Congrats to your success. Thank you. I'm like, I feel good. Lee is thriving. Yeah. I'm like yes <laughs> and I've never been more depressed than when I no I'm just kidding <laughs> no um, you're officially back from your busyness of yeah, Coachella Coachella was and crazy now, and fun and, and now you are officially here back again in the house with us and you have the Roomba on 24-7 oh since my gosh I've been on a cleaning literally rampage. making me nuts like it's this uh, this Roomba it's 24-7 I have to hide from it to do anything yeah. because when I'm like in the bathroom trying to do my makeup all of a sudden the Roomba all day is in just bumping bumping yes. bumping bumping well there you go a little bit of Max you know for you in your life but i will say my god i'm on a cleaning rampage everything's getting clean so you better watch out i'm coming for you but happy to be home from the craziness it was fun i enjoyed it very much but some much needed rest time yeah. is happening and now we're so, back and now we're back so let's recap let's do and thing. tune in the next week on wednesday for another traders recap and then another circle recap on yes, friday up Salute. We're just recap, 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 recap. recap, recap, yeah, recap. TV, yeah, TV, yeah, TV, yeah, TV. Okay, let's get into the circle. <sighs> let's do it. The most recent four episodes. Listen, I will say this right out the gate. What has started to happen is I feel like everyone is starting to relax a little more. There is a tone down from the worst person you've ever met at, the, at a party, <laughs> which kind of was everyone the first couple episodes. It, we're starting to relax. I feel like we're slowing down a tad. I feel like not everyone is projecting so much. But what is happening that I've taken it deep note of is that the circle the actual like tv slash computer is becoming for most everyone like um essentially wilson and castaway mm. like everyone's starting to lose it a little bit and is talking to the circle the whole time good morning circle good yeah. night circle and i'm like they're not saying circle <laughs> regarding the other players they're not like good night kyle good night paul good night, everybody good night olivia like it's like good night the circle and it's just like that's their new best friend mm, yeah it is, it is. <laughs> you well know you know what's funny is it's like i was thinking about this the other day i was like when i when i've spent like a week at home and i really haven't gone out much and i really haven't seen many people and i've kind of been a little isolated yeah you start to act a little weird. You know what I mean? Like sure. a little off. Like you just, you feel a little less, you feel a little more antisocial, a little more sure. awkward around people. And it's me 24 seven because I spend so much time alone. Right, home. right. And I'm kind of going, <laughs> but you still have social media shows. My child. <laughs> your child work, walking around. You know yeah. what I mean? The idea of being stuck with a puzzle I know. As the height of your entertainment. I, know. I don't even like a puzzle. For weeks I know. is bizarre. I know. And I feel like people are starting to kind of show signs that like all is not well. You know what I mean? Well, like it's starting to get a little like. Well, and people are getting suspicious of everyone. Like all of a sudden, I know that Lauren had put Paul's name out there, but she wasn't really coming for Paul. But it's starting to go to Paul a little bit because Paul is like, she's the snake in the grass. Yeah, and it's like you trying start to turn to everyone in. You're like, you're like, Paul, I mean, Lauren, she's been, she hasn't really come for you. Like she's just. If you have a propensity for paranoia, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is gonna be yeah. you can start you're starting to see it yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and so yeah they've become the the circle has become everyone's wilson from castaway um but we were left with who miles was going to eliminate the yeah. ai yeah, choice yeah, yeah. and i thought for sure it was going to be kyle nope he goes with steffi which i feel like is was a safe choice because most everyone had said they think Steffi is no the AI. No one was like that. No one really liked Steffi either. There was this energy there. Everyone was kind of annoyed. Yeah, there was, you know, Olivia and Lauren were like team Steffi. But in general, everyone was a little bit like everyone was over just kind of like the, not the, sad. Yeah, no. But when Miles goes in, number one, I think you're right that Steffi was attempting to use her skeleton as like 
she wanted it to become a meme like a br- like branding yeah. because as soon as miles walk in walks in she's like here's herbert the skeleton and she like makes miles shake the skeleton's <laughs> hand and i was like oh we thought we were gonna be doing a whole branding which we love a brand we love I, a just, brand. I don't think that it ended up turning out the way that steffi imagined it's also like when you have an overinflated view <laughs> of your quirkiness that you find it to be much more charming than other people do Uh that like you're subjecting people to this kind of quirky thing you got going on like like making a stranger shake a plastic (laughs) figurine's hand skeleton right like that that's 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 really taking over someone's (laughs) like energy there so that, that set it off for me a little bit where i was like oh okay this isn't even an act for the camera like you're kind of continuing the bit i thought you were mr positive now you know what it is i'm a little triggered by her you know what i mean i'm a little triggered by the kind of like we get it the like where where are you where do you begin and where does the shtick begin sure you know what i mean so continue sorry okay but here's the thing she does not let miles up easy that's kind of another thing yeah miles came in and miles is like number one we kind of start to get a sense we're getting a sense that miles like we assumed you know the clothes the bleach blonde hair the the hot poppy fuego energy you know it's definitely like a like it's a it's a a costume for sure, him sure. to maybe protect himself. Yes. You know, it's a, it's a, a confidence thing perhaps yes. because we saw him talking to Steffi and he was much more like, Oh, so sorry. And we saw yeah, him numerous sweet. times in this, in this episode, feel bad about Cassie. Yes. And we're like, okay, so miles, he's I think a miles softie. has a good heart. I think he's yeah. kind of like a nerdy dude who has a good heart yeah. and he's created this like fuck boy aura to kind of make him feel more confident, probably dating, hanging out, meeting new people, whatever. So he's got this kind of like, a little bit of like the I'm you know dressed for the job you want not the job you have energy with this yeah. like fuck boy thing he's yeah, got going on sure. but realistically I do think he is just like a sweet sweet well, guy well I mean he's locked in on QT like That's he's found the love in his love. life like, like, he's okay, like in love I thought you were a fuck boy yeah, you know, yeah, and now all of a sudden yeah. you're like madly in love yeah, like you're that, sending you know her I mean? breakfast in exactly. bed in the morning like getting special deliveries exactly. from the circle producers for exactly. QT and it doesn't even feel like it's not a game play he's no. like and he says in every conversation to everyone so long as QT stays yes he's in love yes oh my god is there gonna be a wedding a Ooh, circle, the wedding? circle wedding um but so but when he meets steffi he's right away kind of like hey i'm sorry and she is like not letting it go she's like why would you think i'm the I ai thought you were an ai engineer it's pretty embarrassing <laughs> that as an ai engineer you can't even tell the difference and he's like i work on cars and she's like whatever yeah, we find out he just kept saying ai engineer and he was like oh i'll be able to figure this bot out it's like he works on electric cars which is very impressive <laughs> yeah. but Definitely not. Not con- he said he doesn't work on conversational like humans. Yeah, it's a very different style. energy than like yeah, like yeah. finding the AI bot amongst the humans. Right. It's like <laughs> Tesla he's not a business. Chat GPT per- like professor. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah <laughs> he doesn't yeah, run yeah. Chat GPT. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, she was like she was not letting him. She was not letting him. Um, there was no grace, and she was being very passive aggressive as well. So there was a lot of like, I thought you were better than this, or you know, I guess you'll have to deal with this now. And it was a lot of like shot, shot, shots, and then they kind of reconciled. Like it yes. kind of got to a place where it was like, okay, we've had a good conversation. We're kind of okay now. So everything seems fine. They reconcile, and then she's like, "Let me gift you with some things before I leave." Right. Here are some crystals right. and some essential oil as a peace offering. And then she goes, I promise it's for support. I'm like, oh, that shit's poisoned. <laughs> yeah, anytime you have to I'm promise. Like, that shit's cursed. <laughs> she, those are some stones that she put some sort of curse in. Yeah. And Miles is not going to win this show. <laughs> yeah, just, it's, it's a little bit like. When she goes, I promise they're for support. It's just like. You're like, is she going to use her powers against? But I will say. Dude. The, so so it's one of those things where you're like, okay, but then she straight up when Miles goes, okay, so who do you feel like who do you not like? Or who do you not trust? Who do you not trust? She goes bang, bang, bang. Lee. Again. Not the, psych- now. the self-proclaimed psychic. Self-proclaimed psychic says, I don't know about Max, Paul, and Olivia. Wow. And those All are the three, three. The two catfish uh, and the one uh, AI robot. Nailed it. And I'm like. It's a little weird. I mean, my God. Like, I mean, that is. Like, I, I said it last uh, last episode. I mean, she her business must be booming now. Because I'll go to her. That's wild. Just don't do anything mean to her. Because she might be passive to you. But. <laughs> um, I will say. Yeah. She, it was kind of weird. 
It's not like she nailed two out of the three. She nailed all three. Like the fact that she right away knew all of them almost made me feel like, did they have to get rid of her? Were producers like, you have to get rid of Steffi because she's just nailing it. Steffi's everything. like, she's broken down the game. Yeah. The psychic has broken through the game. Like, we're going to get rid of the AI and we can't keep the psychic mm-hmm. because the psychic knows what is AI and who are catfish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was quite jarring. It was to definitely me. quite jarring. And I'm just saying, Miles. But then during that, but then during, like, that's another thing though, but she, I will say, say this and I, and I hate to be like a dick about it but it's like she was kind of unlikable because i think that she had the like i'm a i'm a feeler and a healer and a psychic and i'm this but then she was also like throw shots and then like then would then lead a yoga course and then the next time be like your abs look fake and like you know what i'm saying so there was a lot of like i understand sh- and, then, and then when miles cut her right they yeah. kind of had this thing she gave him the crystal blah 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 and then in her video and then in her video she's just like well you know you would think if he knew ai that you wouldn't he wouldn't cut oh, me and she yeah. started like throwing shots at him and then making him look bad so it was just kind of like this okay like no, I don't know. listen, I think Steffi's probably a very lovely, probably person, a lovely person, but, but let's but be real. It was, if I was in their position, I also probably would have voted Steffi because I would have felt confused by the let's meditate and yoga and do astrology together and then kind of out of the clouds be like coming for that person. I suppose you can be both, but I suppose that energy would just surprise me. It was, it was giving CrossFit. You know, when, you know, when people say like, Will you ever meet someone who does CrossFit and never hear about it? You know what I mean? It's It, it was kind of like, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the only way you'll always know someone does CrossFit because they'll never stop talking about it. And I felt like she was kind of that way with her businesses and stuff. It was like constantly talking about psychic, well, constantly talking about how I know everything. I'm, I'm listen, a healer. I'm a this, I'm a that. bottom line, Evan. She was right. She was right. She was right. So if she came in here to plug her business damn girl, you plugged that business and That's you plugged true. it well. That's true. That's because true. you were right. Mm-hmm. And genuinely, I really need to hear from her at the reunion. Yeah. Like I need and then oh, and then the way that the message cut out and she said that she um was given a vision about who would win and then yeah. they cut the message out. They better show that at the reunion. And yeah. if that woman is right, I mean, literally take all my money. Yeah. Like I just I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> like do I want to know? Do I want to know about my future? Yeah. No, I mean, I will feeling. say that it was it was frustrating in that way where I was kind of like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of her vibe, but then she keeps nailing it. It's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. It was truly amazing. But shout out to Steffi because that was incredible. And I will absolutely be looking you up after we're done recording this and sending maybe many DM questions. Yes. To you. And <laughs> not, things and, you know, way. although she wasn't very likable to the group, not a success for the group to get rid of her in the way that like was an AI and also like. To be honest with you, didn't feel like a major player that was like <clears throat> swaying people. Uh-huh. So, you know, it was kind they, of like it wasn't like a big win. It wasn't like, oh, now Miles got rid of this person that's like a competitor. It was kind of no, like a loss. No, but also then they they had it. That's They don't know what a huge loss they had because she had it right the entire time. And she could have right. really helped people get down, even though, I mean, I love, you know, I love when a catfish gets to the finale, obviously. Yo, but she could have helped the unreal. AI portion. Um, okay. Let's take another quick pause and then keep diving in. Family. So I suppose the positive about being alone in the circle apartment is that you don't have to get into like the fancy rose ceremony outfits. Mm. You know, you can be as disheveled as you want. I obviously would just be in sweats 24 seven, but of course, but you know what I would still care about even if no one was around body odor. Okay. Mm. Even if no one else can smell it, I can smell it. I can smell myself. I'll be honest. The other day I was alone at home and I smelt myself and I was not thrilled. Okay, mm. <laughs> I was not thrilled because I had not put on my Dio and I've shared with you all the most recent years as I've gotten older, I've gotten stinkier. So I am so grateful for Lumi deodorant, the whole body Dio. I'm obsessed with it. I put it all over. Personally, I get it in the pits, under boobs, thigh folds, my feet, all of it. And it's clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. I'll put it on and genuinely for like days, I'll be good to go. It's amazing. Um, It works for a long time. Yeah. Unlike certain other deos, Lumi whole body deodorant is powered by mandelic acid to deliver that outrageous 72 hour odor control everywhere from your pits to your feet. And yes, even your privates. In fact, it was patients concerns about private part odor that originally inspired the OBGYN who invented 
Lumi. Uh, fast forward six years and her game changing whole body Dio has now earned over 300,000 five star reviews from people like me and Jess. It's true. It's also baking soda free, paraben free and pH balanced for safe use below the belt. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping as a special offer for listeners new customers get 15% off all Lumi products with our exclusive code and if you combine that 15% off with the already discounted starter pack that equals over 40% off your starter pack use code momdad for 15% off your first purchase at lumideodorant.com that's code momdad at l u m e d e o d o r a n t Dot com code mom dad at lumideodorant.com okay so back to it so mm-hmm. Steffi ends up leaving and then we get the announcement from her, her. we also then get the max RIP announcement yep. hopefully he's back listen to us Netflix Seriously. <laughs> hopefully he's back um, and then the circle chat opens and this is when it starts the shade begins and mm. I feel like the turns the, the knobs start turning a little bit because Miles immediately and I feel like Miles is playing a good game Miles immediately is like I'm gonna put it out there and and, you know, say, hey, that I feel bad about it. But also just FYI, I am a engineer for cars, not, you know, robots. So that's why. And da, da, da. and I feel like Miles, these these four episodes was being honest. The fact even with the whole Cassie situation that he admitted to things, I feel like it's smart. I couldn't agree more. I feel like it's making him f- feel trustworthy. It's, it's very likable. Yeah. Because the first four episodes, not very likable. No. <laughs> right? Four, like, he had very months. like cringe kind of yes, like. Yes. The hot poppy fuego. Not great like, yeah, vibes. Yeah, yeah. Everyone. He was actually kind of like. A lot of people were kind of yucking on him. Yes. But I feel like he really turned. He's turned a corner. He turned a big corner, and which is an interesting. And I don't know if he's just being honest or if it's a tactic, but there's something about if you're initially kind of maybe not everyone's flavor and then you start kind of almost tearing down the the exterior and being honest. That he's people, given himself a character He's arc. given himself and an arc. people love an arc. We love because an arc. Because he's doing stuff like... Guys, that was me. Shouldn't have done that. My yeah. bad. Guys, I work with cars. I should have known better. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's kind of doing these guys. I have a huge crush on QT. Like, he's kind of being this very open person. Mm-hmm. And I think what it's doing is it's taking people off his scent that, yes. like, he's not going to screw me. Yes. And I think because of that, he's able to kind of get off people's radar. 100%. And they're not afraid like they are with other people. So I think he's. You know, and then when then Jordan came in later and said, I think Miles is like the puppet master. Oh, you're we'll kind of like, <laughs> but you're kind of like at this point, He's not I wrong. do feel like he kind of is the it's it's debatable, but I do think he is kind of the best player at this point. OK, I think QT is that, the well, best player. Good. That, that was the but other I debate. I do feel but, like Miles is kind of in a he's kind of in a leadership position. But right we now. see later QT starting to ride the line. They're starting to things that are starting to go against her and stuff. But, but Miles has still kept he's he's kept his slate clean. That's true. Yeah, it's very true. Well, in this circle chat, people were starting to get frustrated. Kyle, of course, is like, see, Olivia, you are coming for me. Yeah. And I am real. And da, 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 da. And so there's that tension there. And then Cassie kind of out of the clouds like throws shade at Miles about like, hmm, you all trust this guy? He said he was the AI engineer and out of nowhere throws that shade. And Miles is like, what the heck's that about? Well, that's then when we have um, cut to later where they have the portrait art yeah, game. Yeah. And this is when things... Portraits. Tar- portraits. There yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> portraits <laughs> art game. And this is when those things start to shift. We have Paul who is saying that Lauren is two-faced. <laughs> With like a weird avant-garde version too. Like everyone else made like very basic it stuff. It kind of slapped. Let's but, be but, real. But, but, but like <laughs> Paul's were like, was like kind of cool. And everyone's like, what is, what is that saying? And there was like multiple levels to it. And it was kind of Picasso-y. It was like. It was kind of fire. It was. Like, yeah, Lauren's two-faced. It was like, what? That's out of the clouds. But then Cassie draws a photo of, or uh, draws a picture of Miles. Yeah. And says something about how bad his game is. And it's him like puking and spitting bad game. And it said QT in the puke, I think, or something like that. Right. It said in the puke. Um, no game no game okay yes yes but in which was a funny left turn yeah because 
basically what it exposed to me. You guys, I want to know your thoughts on this was that Cassie had a crush on miles because she was like annoyed by the fact that like he had no game and like he was annoyed. She was annoyed by the fact that like he has a huge crush on QT and like part of me feels like in the beginning they had this like blondes forever thing going on, but now it's like, he's just obsessed with QT and there's like this, kind of pissed that like the, her boyfriend is no longer interested in well, her because, energy a little because bit. Because what ended up happening then too is then Cassie or excuse me, Miles drew a photo of Cassie, a yeah. picture of Cassie as a snake. Yes. And said that Cassie was a snake in the grass. And she was pissed. And she was mad. Yeah. And they ended up having a conversation. And this was another moment where I was like, okay, Miles, nice work. But yes, I I did kind of feel what you were feeling when they had that conversation because Cassie was so upset at him. And she was like, how dare you now? And it's true. If I were Cassie, I'd be like, now everyone's going to think I'm a snake. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, I'm like, you drew a photo of Miles. <laughs> yeah. Like she was, it was, you know what it was? He, he, let me, let me paint the and, picture and like, real and you quick. You did initially come for Miles and now you're upset because you're like, you came for Miles and drew a picture of him. And then he drew a picture of you and you were like, you have, ru- you have ruined my chances in this game. Yeah. How dare you? And I was like, well, And then Cassie. he had to grovel back like a boyfriend. And then she's <laughs> yeah. like, I might forgive you if you tell everyone I'm not a snake. And like, okay. I like you now. You know what it gave, you know what it was giving to me <laughs> yeah. was someone like like she has a boyfriend slash husband or whatever she's engaged but yeah wants her friend who's this guy miles to have a crush on her because it just feels good sure, so sure, sure, anytime sure, sure. that the friend has Relatable. like a possible girlfriend option you're like she's not really that cool or she's not very good but only because you want them to just kind of have a, to have be a the apple just, of your just, eye. just kind of have a crush on you because yeah. it feels good yeah that was kind of the vibe i was getting when they had that conversation that was cracking me up and i was feeling that energy a little bit because i was like cassie i mean you did the same thing to yeah. him and you did initiate the throwing of him under the bus please remember cassie you were a diehard get rid of Steffi person. Yes. And he listened to you and yes. a few others and got rid of Steffi. And then you're like, I don't know. Seems suspicious to me. And you're like, what? And, and, <laughs> like- and all she was paint a picture of him having a crush on QT. It, like that was such an obvious tell. It was hilarious to me. It was like, that's your diss is that he likes QT. Like it was, it was obvious. What would you have done? So the way that they did the poor traits, what I thought they were going to have to do is sign their name with it. And I'm like, Ooh, that's yeah. sketchy because then you have to come for somebody. And I was thinking, I'm like, I guess I would have done something like, you know, drawn a picture of one of my fellow players and been like, they're too, they're too attractive or they're too nice, you know, like whatever, do something like that. Yeah. But if you could do anything Mm -hmm. in that game, what do you think you would have done? I think I would have failed miserably at strategy during this point. I probably would have gone after someone that everyone doesn't like. Like I probably would have gone after Paul. But like Paul's probably the least likable in the whole game at this point. Like no, how, number one, how dare you? <laughs> wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say that generally I think that most a lot of people, people do have a are like Paul, not a huge you know, fan. It's just my most favorite. So now. what I probably would have would have done is like done something about Paul being like I have no strategy or or I just you know vo- word vomit or something like that about Paul where it's like it kind of offends Paul but no one's gonna go oh shit you know you yeah. kind of want to escape that game saying something kind of clever, but nothing to where anyone's like, watch out for them. He's got a lot of vitriol against someone. You know what I mean? I would have done something kind of playful, but nothing too offensive. Well, I QT was gaming. That's what I wish I would have thought of. Gaming. I would have never, I would have never thought of it. I'm telling you, I would have panicked during this portraits and I would have flopped. I would have done, I either would have made a mistake or nothing would have come of it because I I think the strategy, I'd be too nervous about like deciding who and what to say that I wouldn't be thinking strategy. QT painted a portrait of Kyle. Yes. And she goes, king of boring. Mm. Hashtag fake. And she says, because Kyle and Olivia have this beef now, yes. I know that Kyle's going to think it's Olivia, uh-huh. which he did. And it was so, so smart because then simultaneously, <sighs> QT is pitting Kyle against Olivia and then is talking to Miles and saying, let's bring Kyle into our group. And so then she's talking to Kyle and getting Kyle on her side while simultaneously pitting him and Olivia or attempting to do so. Was that in the group chat or did did QT also have a private message with Kyle? QT then had a private message yeah, with where Kyle. where she goes, 
you're definitely not the king of boring. You're so the fun. The king of fun. Yes. You're, you're, so, you, you're smart. so cool. Yes. Blah, 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 all this shit. And it's like, so she created the fake drama, then doubled down on her being his ally. Yes. And let's be real, too. Kyle also has a crush on QT. Duh. Duh. <laughs> but he's married, so he's trying to like play it cool, be like, we're we're brother and well, sister. He's but he's like, res- he's trying to be respectful. He's trying to be respectful, but, like, but he definitely clearly, has a crush. Because he know. even said when she first came in, he's like, that's a problem for me. Yeah. <laughs> so he is then like, and then she oh, ran to Miles, t- and he was like, he was uh, offended. Yeah, but then yeah. she's flirting back with him. Yeah. And so now he's like, you're my sister forever, and we're in this forever, and now it's Trace Fuegos and all this stuff. She is playing it. This is this shows the difference between someone who has watched every episode and studied it yep. versus someone who's just kind of figuring like it out. Like she said, she's like, I have studied every single episode of this and it is quite obvious yes. because on top of it too, God, she's a star player. On top of it too, obviously there's the her and Miles romance and Miles is head over heels yeah. for QT. But QT is clearly like enjoying getting to know Miles, but also keeping that boundary up of being like, well, great for me. Yes. He's never going to get rid of me. This is a game. And now she has Kyle doing the same thing. Exactly. And what's so good about it is that she hasn't even switched sides to Kyle. So it's not like she's been like, now I'm now I have a crush on Kyle. It's like no, she's she able went to, to Kyle and she, she was like, friend you're, zoned him. And yeah. he was like, I'll take she it. She was like, you're my big brother. Yes. Yes. And, so good. and what's so good about it, too, is that. She has Kyle crushing on her. She has Miles in love with her. Mm-hmm. Yet she'll never give away too much no. and be like breakfast in bed like he is. He, she's always like really nice. And even to the camera. Yeah. She's staying likable because she's not going got him. She's no. going, oh, my God, am I in love? Ha <laughs> ha. Like she's kind of playing well, into the whole too, thing. And then she's like, oh, I feel bad. She's super nice. But it's a game. Yeah. The ability to kind of play both these guys as heartstrings and stay likable on camera. Yeah. Next level playing. Next level playing. Next level playing. Yeah. I have a question for you, yeah. speaking of this, about the game and like the quote unquote morality of it all. Mm. There's this energy about the game that's a little bit like, oh, catfishing, being a catfish is bad. And also, oh, I can't lie to this person. Yeah. And I'm sure the audience then puts that on the players too, yeah. where then if they are a catfish or they do lie to someone in the game that then they get all shit from the audience. Sure. But like, isn't it like it's a game? Like, wouldn't you go in like all's fair? Catfish is fair. Lying left and right. I mean, like, right. I mean, it's, well, like, you, it's a game, right? I mean, am I heartless to say no, this? No, you're not heartless, but um, like you see Brandon really struggling with this concept. Yes. Right. So, yes. so he's, he's someone with a really big heart yeah. who is super empathetic, super sensitive. And so he's really struggling with this concept of like, it's a game, right? But also I want to be loved and I don't want to put people through this because I feel like I've been manipulated in the past, but blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then you see other people like QT who is like, making it very much a game but isn't being brutal about it no and she's then you still see very people, likable yeah so like there's this thing of like i think it's all about the game itself is set up to manipulate so i think you have to forgive have to any like you can't bring a moral aspect to something that's strictly a game but i think it's tough because everything in our bodies and our normal life says this is bad behavior this is wrong to right. manipulate people i can't wrong. lie to somebody so it's yeah, like you're sure. suspending your morality for the game yeah so I completely understand people not liking someone because of the way they're acting, even though, even, oh, though even though it's the way they should be acting. 100%. I just can imagine myself going in and being like, I'm going to have strategy. I'm going to like, this is a game. And then going in and being like, I'm going to lie. I'm going to deceive. And then having a full mental breakdown there and being like, I can't like, I can't yeah. like message this person and just like blatantly lie to them. I think it probably comes down to like, but I'd want to, cause I'm like, but it's the game. It's the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think it personally probably would come down to your history in your life. So it almost seems to be like if you haven't been manipulated or hurt too much, you're right. going to play this game better because you're going to able because you're not like thinking the other side of it. Yeah. But if it has happened to you a lot, I think that it can be hard for you. But then we're seeing the miles too when he's having his sit down with Cassie and Cassie, he felt like he hurt Cassie all of a sudden. Yeah. He got emotional and yes. he was like, I feel bad because she was giving me mother energy <sighs> and I didn't have a relationship with my parents and it seemed like he was like abandoned or something. Yeah. And then he ha- has his uncle and aunt who have taken care of him. And we saw him then have that like 
I don't want to hurt Cassie yeah. because it's like this mother energy. Uh, but it's also the face to face. Yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. You see the longer they do it, the worse it gets. Yeah. Early on, you're kind of, this is a game. Right. Later you get, the more you start being attached to people. You start sharing more information. You start opening up, which actually would probably be a really good game is to like make sure people are opening up to you to dig into yeah. them a little bit. That's yeah, messed oh, it's up. So, it's, yeah, so, it makes yeah, me no, feel I know, sick. No, for I sure. get that though. No, when I think about it though, it would. Yeah. If I'm actually in that position, I like, I'm all talk and I'm just like, it's the game. I though. Think Who so cares? Too. But then I when agree. I'd actually be in it, my, my, my body would be like, you can't do that. I, and then, and then it happens to you and then you're hurt. And so then, then you're like in your head and like you see Cassie, you see people break down. You see Cassie break down. You see Autumn crying already. Oh, I felt like terrible Like you're seeing people break down thinking this is personal. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's take another pause so then get back in. Oof. I probably wouldn't, you know, I was about to get on this show, I think. It's see, at least it seemed that way I tell myself that, but I probably would have crumbled immediately. Like a good, the first first episode you're like. I don't know like, if I'm built for it. Mm. If I could have just not played like a game where I was just like, hey, let's all have a good time. And then like. I feel like Lauren's kind of playing the like, let's all be friends. Yes. Energy. It's kind of like that. It's a game until it happens to you. Then you see people shift. Yeah. Or like coming face to face. Ooh, it gives me shivers. Yeah. Okay. Listen, family, we have been attempting to save money mm. in our household. Okay. Big it's time. too expensive out there right now. And for a while I was looking at my bank account and being like, where did some of this go? Like, I don't understand. I feel like I've been being... It seems to just leave. It just is leaving. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel like I've been being really careful. Well, turns out I was still signed up for a bunch of subscription services that I had forgotten about and that were draining my funds. Okay. I'd forgotten about those subscription services. And I, of course, discovered this with the help of Rocket Money. Rocket Money showed me this. And then Rocket Money even helped me cancel some of them. A true gift. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, we have full control over our subscriptions and a clear view of our expenses. I can see all my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel in just a few taps. And by the way, Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lowering your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. I mean, it's truly amazing. Mm. It is so helpful, everybody. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million dollars and canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Last year, Rocket Money saved me a little over $1,000. It's incredible. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash momdad. That's rocketmoney.com slash momdad. Rocketmoney.com slash momdad. Okay, so we are seeing, like you mentioned, the people starting to see their gameplay a lot. This is then when QT is opening the conversations up with Kyle. Um, and we're getting the feelings of the um, the Tres Fuegos beginning, mm -hmm. an alliance forming. Then we are given new players. We are given, uh, surprise, surprise, we get Jordan and Autumn. Mm -hmm. They are not AI. I was really hoping one of them was going <laughs> to... That quickly return. I know. Well, I, what I was thinking is when they were like, oh, new players are coming. I was like, oh, it's going to be Max again. Yeah. But they're just going to change Max's mm -hmm. identity. Right, and right. And then not tell people that there's an AI. Yes. And then see what happens. Yes. Because that yes. would have been truly a great experiment. Yes. I wish AI was Jordan. Yes. I yes. thought that it was I thought maybe yeah. it was going to be. Yeah. Um, okay, so our two new players, we have Jordan. Jordan is twenty four. He is a photographer. He was putting up literal, I think, pictures that he either took or were of himself around <laughs> his apartment. And Jordan is he is playing himself, but he is playing himself from the the photos he's using are from a few years ago. Um, because he has lost weight since. Yeah. And he says, in his words, that he thinks that his new self would look like a, I think he says, douchebag to people. And so he's using photos of himself before he lost the weight, and he calls himself Big J. Um, Anytime someone says, I know I look like a douchebag, that is a guy trying to say, I'm hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I can get with whoever I want. 
but don't worry, I'm not that guy. Anytime a guy says, <laughs> I know I look like a douchebag, it's just saying, I know I look incredible and I'm so cool, but don't worry, I am just your guy next door. Like, it is such a fake self-deprecating way to praise yourself. It's I hilarious. Because I remember in, in um, Love is Blind, there was a couple of those too. You well, know what I mean? Where uh, it was just was like, it Trevor? Trevor was like, yeah, I like, know I, how I look, I but I'm not that way. It turns yeah. out Trevor was. <laughs> Listen, I'm so muscular that you're probably scared of me. You think that guy could crush me with one hand, but I am a teddy bear. Don't you worry. You know what I mean? It's a way to go like, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I'll just say this about Jordan. After watching these four episodes, I really hope, I hope and pray that Jordan um, will like grow and really learn to talk about his, his himself more kindly mm. when he was just in a bigger body. I'll just say that. I, I, I just, I, I hope that for him that he is able to talk about himself a few years ago more kindly. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to discount that Jordan, like, you know, the journey that he's chosen to go on and what makes him feel good and all of this. I, I'm just feeling like a lot of the conversation that was had was very much like perpetuating, like the unfortunately, the fat phobic culture that yeah. we are in. And I just want Jordan to be able to see he's beautiful now. He was beautiful then. And we're just all in these skin suits, right? And these yeah. skin suits, they change and over time and they're different and everyone's is different and your own, your own skin suit changes and it's, it's who you are. And yeah. I don't know. I just kind of want to give him a hug uh -huh. and, and be, be like, like, your identity is not in your weight fluctuation, yes. which is what it felt like. Yeah. Cause it was like this, the, the, the self talk about him, who he was a year or two ago. Right. Was who he pretty calls big J big J. Yeah. It was very negative. It was very shaming himself. And this person that you talk shit about, you know, it's like, and it's Easy like, unfortunately, we live in a culture that it's just, it's terrible, but people, yeah. you know, he's probably had to face people treating him differently. Sure. And that's what's, you know, what we're trying to work on and mm -hmm. fix in this, in this like society that we live in. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, that there were a lot of comments made throughout these four episodes that like, I wanted to give like Jordan a few years ago in a bigger body and Jordan now a hug and be like. Love you for you, right. my guy. You're you're beautiful. You are just beautiful. Right. And Everything's that's it, okay. You know? Yeah. Um, but Jordan becomes obsessed with Miles. He yeah. comes in immediately. I think we got another crush. Maybe. It might I be mean, a crush. We, we have to. It's out of nowhere. He's so obsessed right away. It might be another Dude, crush. Miles is killing it. He's got everyone in love with him. It might be another crush or what I was getting more of is that Jordan sees Miles. Miles is kind of like leader energy right now. And the, and the energy that I get then from Jordan is that, you know, in SpongeBob, it's like Miles is the Krabby Patty <laughs> and Jordan is Plankton. I'm just trying to get the recipe. <laughs> like... Jordan <laughs> is Plankton, who all he thinks about 24-7 is the Krabby Patty. Okay. But the Krabby Patty Miles isn't thinking about Jordan. Of course He's just, not. you know, enjoying being a Krabby Patty or, right. you know, <laughs> chatting with Mr. Krabs. I, yeah. I don't know. But like Plankton, a.k.a. Jordan, all he can think about is the destruction of Miles right. and like taking over. He is Plankton. I'm sorry to compare Miles to a, a burger yeah. and Jordan, I guess, to a Plankton. <laughs> That's just. I it just connects with Lee likes it. I have no idea what you're talking so about. I've never seen the, the show. SpongeBob references. I, you know, I love SpongeBob. <laughs> I know. It's beautiful. You know, I'm sorry. You don't. You don't. I've connect never to even SpongeBob. seen it, so I have no, wow, I have no such, idea what you're such talking a tragedy. about. Essentially, Plankton is a character who he's like the quote unquote villain in it. Got it. But he's just this guy who wants to get the recipe for the Krabby Patty. And I mean, quite frankly, he might be in love with the Krabby Patty. I'm not quite sure. Okay. But he's all he does. He's in his home 24 seven, just planning the demise of of Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob to get the Krabby Patty. Got it. That's the whole yeah. problem. Okay, you know? It's like it'll it. solve all of his problems mm. right. once he like and, obtains the patty. And once he obtains the patty and you know in SpongeBob and the Krabby Patty they're they're not thinking about Plankton. You know what the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So it's like Miles isn't thinking about Jordan 
And all that Jordan's doing is thinking about Miles in this game well, well, so far. And Jer- he even said, he's like, I got to get Miles out and then become like the one for QT and Kyle. And it's like, he yeah, wants to it's, become it's a little, <laughs> It's a little creepy, uh, maybe, because it's just a little like out of nowhere. It's, it's a, a it's little very passionate. like you had no interaction with him. It didn't go bad. Didn't talk shit on you. All of a sudden, it's just like Miles is the center of my world. And Miles is just like, do, 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 do. Yeah, and yeah. Jordan comes in and Jordan's like, I'm going to be ruthless. I'm going to play this game. He's down to lie. He's he's yeah. down to play the full game in right. its entirety. Right. But the issue is, is I do feel like Jordan could has the potential of being a very strong player. Mm. But he did, like we were saying before, almost a Paul thing where you're like, where did that come from? Where right out the gate, he hops into a conversation with Kyle, has never spoken to Kyle and doesn't even say, hey, man, I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. He just goes, I'm so overwhelmed being here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Tell me what's happening. And Kyle's like, what? Well, this was after he accepted the message from who was it? It was miles, right? Who did, who did Jordan talk to originally? Remember three people reached out to the new people to miles miles. Okay. So he talked to, yeah, he talked to miles, but then didn't really get anything. I remember that was like a frustrating thing. He's like, I didn't really get anything from him. Well, no, he did. Miles did give him some info, but after that, sorry, he started not getting information from people and he was getting really frustrated. Yes. Cause Jordan, Jordan kind of came in hot in general. He didn't yeah. kind of spend time becoming friends and no. kind of like f- building rapport. He just kind of did the Paul thing where it's like, what's my strategy? Here it is. You yes. know? And then, so then in, in that situation, he doesn't respond to Kyle's original message. Kyle's tweaked by that. Then he reaches out to Kyle and again, doesn't warm up. Kyle doesn't go. No. Kyle, look, he thinks by going, I'll play in security. He goes, I'm he so goes, overwhelmed I'm and I home. don't, I miss home and I don't understand what's going on. And then, and then he just goes, but then immediately goes, tell me what's happening. Yeah. It's right. Like, yeah. It's like, this Kyle's is like, nice a, to meet you like, too. In the same sentence. Didn't even like five yeah. sentences in start asking. So then Kyle immediately smells like deception. And then same thing with Olivia. Olivia had been trying to be like initially with the initial message was like, Oh, you remind me of my, my bestie from home. I want to be in like, get yeah. your sweater. We can swap. He doesn't respond to that message and then hops in with Olivia and you know, it's right away way like give me information give me information and is not getting information and so jordan is so frustrated because no one will talk shit about miles to him yeah because he's going to kyle who is in an alliance with miles and then he's also going to olivia who ends up then becoming blood packed because they're paired off together and so then they're not going to talk shit about miles he's he's, very impatient and i think that's the issue is that might be his problem is it's like you're acting like you've been here the whole time yes you need to be under the radar, chill, sweet for the, like a week, two weeks yeah. before you start going, what's the tea? Yeah, at least give it a day. Give it some time. But he's literally opening lining with people. Give me the tea. And yes. then people are like, I can't trust you. So it's, and and, and Olivia, he came in so confident, too. He's like, oh, I'm going to kill this. Yeah, and so, he's not getting what he wants. And so he's getting annoyed. So that, that might be a breaking point for Jordan. I don't I don't see how he doesn't end up being disliked because of his aggressiveness to get information out of people. The problem is if he starts doing unhinged business, his now blood packed pairing off is with QT. Worst case. So that can really destroy QT's game. And Jordan fancies himself a QT level player, which he is not at this point. So it's a little bit like, no, 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 no. You could destroy QT's game. Agreed. For sure. Agreed. That whole, yeah, yeah. Stressful, absolutely stressful. stressful. Um, and then we also get Autumn, and Autumn is only 21 and 21 yeah. and a ranch hand from Tennessee. And she, I mean, she's got the full cowboy hat on. She's like, I'm coming in here ready to flirt. And then when they had the opportunity to talk to one of the new players, she got some messages. I thought she was going to talk to Cassie because Cassie did like a hashtag blue, gra- Southern girls. blue grass and Rocky top Southern girls for life. And right. I was like, okay, she's going to have that thing. She ends up choosing to talk to Paul, which is a wild choice to me because <laughs> Paul messages autumn and says, autumn, my favorite season cute. And says, I've been crucial in the major moves thus far. <laughs> It was absolutely like you just got the job at the yogurt store and the guy who's training you is like, yeah, I could have owned this place, but I didn't want, I didn't want like the responsibility, but I totally could have owned it. But, and he's like, wait, aren't you, 
don't you have the same job as I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, <laughs> they all respect me around here and like all the suppliers and stuff come in and they're like, what's up? How's it going, Paul? Like, yeah, no big deal. So I could have owned this place if I wanted to. I just don't like it. Paul I didn't want to own say, it. say, I've been crucial with yeah. the major moves. He's like, I got to win over her trust. And you know what? B- big I, golden fedora energy from him right and now. And by the way, I was like, there's no way Autumn's going to choose that message. She chooses to talk to Paul. Yeah. And not only does she get Paul to respond, Paul comes in and goes, all right, let's get right into it. I'm like, oh my God, what does that mean? And Paul just goes, let's get dirty. Watch out for Lauren. She's deaf stabbed a lot of people in the back. Biggest fish on the hook right now is Kyle. There's a romance between QT and Miles. Cassie is a snake in the grass and poor Olivia is lagging behind. <laughs> Literally doesn't save anything anything also, just dessert before dinner just literally <laughs> here's the whole thing no strategy here's everything we throw also, everyone under the bus but also doesn't even say like hey how are like doesn't go back and Again. forth for a while it's like all right gets one go ahead from autumn and is like here are here's my powerpoint with all the reasons why you should trust no one here except me because i'm a major player because i've been yeah, I got major voted moves. last every time but that is nothing to do with what we're talking about let's not talk about that <laughs> and autumn right away goes wow that's a lot yeah that's a lot and later on she's having a conversation with lauren and is like by the way paul's like right away told me i've been in the circle for 30 seconds and paul told me that you're two-faced and will stab me in the back <laughs> Like, and Lauren's like, what? Yeah, gave up all the possible strategy ideas to a person there's no trust or alliance with. No, like literally, Autumn is a brand new. You, you like get to know Autumn a little bit before you just put all. Of also, that. one side note about this show that's so funny is that people say to each other, "We have an alliance," like it means anything, which is so funny to me. Like they'll be I in the secret chat and they'll just be like, "Alliance, yeah, we are the Alliance Bros," and I'm like, that could be broken in two seconds. Like why? Why is this like even matter to you guys? Why do you trust in an I'm alliance also, for like, two seconds? Literally also, everyone is in an alliance with like so many different groups. Yes. Also, <laughs> the way in which they form an alliance is so fast. It's literally like after... I know you just stabbed me in the back. I know you hate me. I know you just talk shit to me to the other person. But are we cool now? Yeah, we're cool. Alliance but for like, life. And like you're like, even people who like who, who didn't stab each other in the back, they hop onto a group chat. They do a private group chat. Yeah. They send two messages back and forth and go, I feel like you really get me. Alliance for life. 100% alliance for I'll life. I'll never betray you forever. I'm like, you guys literally don't know each other at all. You've exchanged maybe 30 words, 15 of which were in the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> and you asked them to be in your alliance with a hashtag. You didn't even say, do you want to be in an alliance with me? You go, hashtag, should we form an eternal alliance together forever? Yeah, and the hashtags are getting out of control because now they're just sentences. It's like, hashtag, how are you? And it's like, that's a hashtag supposed to be like a phrase that can be repeated, but you can't just it, th- use it as a sentence. It's insane. Has, it's like, hey, you know, I had a great time. I had this morning, I had eggs and hashtag. What are you going to have today? Like, that's not a hashtag. That's just you're using the word. Okay. Now, one thing I want to say about Paul real yeah. quick. Yeah. I've been a kind of a Paul hater. But now that I'm thinking about it, if you just talk shit about everyone all the time. Yeah. And it gets back to them. It can just rattle them to where you're thinking, how many other people are thinking this? Oh, for sure. And you're not thinking Paul's just off his rocker. But you're then, going, wait, are, are there a bunch of people who think I'm a backstabber? Like for Lauren, like, wait a second. Now you're in your no, head. It could just think, throw you off. No, no. And I think Paul's uh, random statements about certain people are me- making people question yeah. stuff. But the issue then is, is that you have a target on your back because everyone's like, well, this person, like Kyle has said, when he ended up having to get paired with Paul, he's like, love Paul, but my God, now I have to spend all of today cleaning up Paul's messes. I just have to be like, hey, everybody, I know Paul said this and has said this yes. and he's been unhinged, but like, we're good, right? Like, that that's... Insane. That's what well, that's what a uh, uh, situation you put yourself yeah. in, though. If you are a Paul and you're just going to start right, throwing right. Sh- uh, shit around, but Paul's still around and two people are gone. So I will say, and I impressive, and I believe in Paul, and I believe Paul could be there in the end. You never know. You might be so so chaotic that you kind of survive. Yeah, I God, I hope so. Yeah, I need to see Paul at that table, that final table. Yes. I need Paul. Yes, 100%. absolutely need too Paul. Much, too much. We need a Paul and Kyle reunion or a meeting, not a yeah, reunion. That's true. Hmm. Um, okay, before we keep diving in let's do one final pause here family family 
Think how amazing it feels to get out of that circle apartment when you're done. God, I would run through flower fields. I would jump in the salty ocean, maybe even try to ride a bike, probably fall. You know, honestly, I do all the things that I would do in summertime, minus the riding the bike part, because I've never (laughs) done that before. Um, Which, speaking of summer, summer is almost upon us. And with that summer feeling running wild, you need hydration that keeps up with your every movement, okay? I'm going to need a lot of hydration after learning how to ride a bike. Trust me, it's going to take a lot out of me, okay? And here's the thing. I will get that with Liquid IV. A single stick of Liquid IV makes ordinary hydration extraordinary. With three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness got a liquid iv right here we got our liquid iv because we are a hydrated couple yes we are no i've changed i know you really have hydration guy now he really is he's Uh, chugging liquid iv constantly Mm -hmm. and i like it so much because of the taste it's so easy to get hydrated with liquid iv all you have to do is tear one of the liquid iv packets pour into water a little stir and boom hydration station Mm -hmm. i'm currently drinking the strawberry lemonade which is incredible my new favorite official flavor Mm -hmm. and i am drinking the sugar-free white peach it is so 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 good in fact we were in the desert last week where it was hot hot Mm -hmm. and poolside this is my drink and this is gonna be my new official drink of the summer the sugar-free white peach is everything it's so delicious and refreshing we carry these liquid IV packets with us everywhere now, which is so convenient. I have them in my purse, my glove compartment. Evan always has them in his gym bag. Mm-hmm. And my friends love me, by the way, for always having extra liquid IV packets Life-saver. on me. When we were in the desert, I was getting hit up for mm-hmm. them constantly. Listen, it's the number one powdered hydration brand in America. Three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks, eight vitamins and nutrients, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. No artificial colors or sweeteners. Turn your ordinary water into a extraordinary hydration with liquid iv get 20 percent off your first order of liquid iv when you go to liquidiv.com and use code mom dad at checkout that's 20 percent off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code mom dad at liquidiv.com you're sip sip sipping through that ad ripping it. i hear you just chug, sorry chug, chugging. mute my mic <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You're a hydrated king I'm now. Enjoying it. Let me get hydrated quick. <laughs> All right. So back to it. Uh, we have Autumn, who's spoken to Paul. She thought it was a little much. <laughs> and then Jordan spoke to Miles, and Miles did give him some tea. Yeah. But then Jordan, then right away, is like, he's the leader. Yeah. I'm, I can smell it. I'm the plankton. He is the Krabby Patty. Yes. Let's do this thing. I'm obsessed with you now. And they um, end up going into a group circle chat. The shade keeps getting thrown around. It's getting spicy in yeah. there. And we find out that a ratings is coming up. And Autumn and Jordan will be able to vote in the ratings ranking, but not participate. Or But they won't be... Um, up for being blocked. Yes. Right. So they're not going to be blocked, but they get to rate. They get to rate. So now it's like, okay, scramble probably to try to get Autumn and Jordan's affection yep. to help with the ratings. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Before the ratings begin, though, we see that Olivia, aka Brandon, is like, I should probably talk to Kyle because Kyle is not liking me right now yeah. and there's beef. Um, so let's clear the air. Well, this conversation ends up taking a drastic turn yeah it starts off kind of kyle going like okay here we go yeah like she's gonna try, know, try to win to me over yeah me, da, da, blah, 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 blah. Blah. and it ends up taking a turn where kyle is like you know what i'm just gonna get deep with her yeah i'm gonna get deep with her and he brings up something that's in her bio about um loving her mom so much mm-hmm. And he's like, I adore my mom. I lost my dad to cancer and my mom stepped up. Mm -hmm. Brandon, a.k.a. Olivia, starts crying and is like, I lost my dad at a young age, too. And they have like this really vulnerable, real moment with each other. And Kyle's like, this is the most deep conversation I've had in the circle thus far. And I think same with Liv. And all of a sudden, they were like really seeing each other. And Brandon's the king of the tears. I know. I mean, it is Bless just. Him. <laughs> and and the thing about Brandon too is he doesn't cry; he sobs. <laughs> you know, I love it. So it's just like immediate just full flow, full flow. 
oh, like, I mean, he is feeling every bit he of this feels process. feels every bone in his yeah. body. And I was like, and even Kyle, Kyle's like, try not to. He's, he's like, like, don't he's do like, it. Don't do like, it. Don't, don't do, do this it. on the circle. Don't do this on the, but he was trying, he was holding it back too. They were, they really had a moment together. And I was like, are these going to be our new dynamic duo? And then we have this big switch yeah. that all of a sudden occurs. Now they kind of have sympathized with each other. Yeah. They see each other in a different way. The one thing I really hope though, is that the day that, Olivia Brandon get exposed. Yeah. That he makes it clear to Kyle that he was telling the truth about himself. Cause I could see Kyle being like, were you, was that you were fucked you, with me? Yeah, were you, like, using, you were just playing yeah. on my trauma to like get close to me. So yeah. I, I hope that whatever think, happens that there's clarity. I there. feel like what we've seen of uh, Brandon and even when he right away met with Cassie later, which we'll get to, he right away said like, I gave you all of me. Like, right. yes, I used the photo of Olivia, but, but like, it was yeah. me. Yeah. And Brandon is such a like, lovable person sure, sure. i feel like when he is exposed yeah. and he does come face to face with people that people will hopefully like open arms Not feel betrayed, you know yeah um but then we end up having rating time and the when the ratings come in we have cassie in last place and cassie's yeah. like oh my god no <laughs> you're yeah. starting to strategize something i wasn't sure about what technique she was attempting to use <laughs> but she gets put in last place olivia gets put in sixth which she's shocked about uh brandon's shocked because yeah brandon was an influencer number one last time yeah um and then fifth is paul <laughs> the, the scream from caress <laughs> no i was like well it was better than last time it is paul. better than last time um fourth is miles third is lauren and then second is QT and first is Kyle. And Kyle is like losing his shit. He is alive. He is living because he was he like. We went from second to last, I think. Yeah. To and, first. And gets flipped and put in first. And so Kyle and QT are now the influencers. Now I'll tell you this. The fourth third place position is I feel like it has to be the sweet spot. Because you're, you're out of the clear. No one hates you. No one. No one's thinking about you. You're right. kind of just right in the middle. You're not there. in people's mind's eye. And then also you're not having to make the call of who to block. Yes. Because that is a lot of pressure. Yes. If, I, if I was on the game and I could stay in the middle the whole time, that would be the goal. I'm like That's enough alliances, but not too many. Yes. So that I'm getting put on top. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. But then... You know, Cassie, Cassie right away is just like, this is because of Miles. And I'm like, well, I mean, maybe a little bit, but also. <laughs> yeah, she thinks it's all about the fact that that he did the snake in the grass thing. But it's like, that's definitely, everybody, there was much, there was other bad. There were other things that happened. And I also yeah. feel like people were, had question marks about Cassie for a while, yeah. even from the beginning. Well, because Cassie kind of started coming hard at people out of nowhere. Yes. And so it was, it was kind of like. You gotta, you gotta re remember that, like, when you come hard at people, like, you're a putting risk. a target on your back yep. too. People are going, oh, I don't know if I can trust them, or oh, they seem a little unhinged. You gotta play it chill, because I, what I felt was happening was Ka Cassie was getting like impatient or frustrated, and then when they when they get frustrated, you start making impulsive decisions yeah. and you start saying things that maybe you don't even really mean, and then. And also, the thing about it is, Miles did stick to his word. Yeah. And Miles did in front of everyone say, hey, I shouldn't have made that joke that about me. Cassie. Yeah. That was me. You know, I thought it was a joke. I thought we were roasting each other yeah. like my bad. So he did stick to his yes, word. He was, you know, um, which I think would have been huge, especially if Cassie would have stayed in the game because she'd been like, OK, Miles stuck to his word. But um, QT and Kyle get to go to the, the uh, hangout where they do the blocking and they end up blocking Cassie. And then Cassie gets to choose which player she wants to meet face to face, which I this is one of the parts of the circle that I love. I love when someone gets blocked and they get to go to someone's apartment and everyone's full panic. Yes. Like, please don't let her come to mind because the little caveat in it is that they know after this person goes to their apartment, they get to film their exit video. And sometimes people throw in clues Sometimes they throw people under the bus, oh. all this shit in the exit videos. So Cassie ends up going and seeing Olivia, a.k.a. Brandon, oh. and opens the door. Brandon's got the <laughs> pillows over him. So yeah. He's like, no, like hiding. And if I'm Brandon, I'm going, oh, my God, I have to make sure that Cassie doesn't reveal in her exit uh, interview that yes. I'm a catfish, yeah. you know, because she very well could have. But what ends up happening is they have more of a commiserating moment where she ends up telling Brandon that she was in an alliance, two alliances with QT. 
And she's like, and QT was one of the betrayed influencers. Me. So she betrayed me and threw me under the bus. I was also, that one had my head scratching a little bit because I was like, I didn't feel like there was like a deep alliance there. But there was still an alliance though, because remember the whole, the whole thing. My thing is this. You she, like, it was a waste to go see Brandon. Brandon was just another bottom dweller with you. Like it's, it's just like two people at the bottom commiserating. If I was Cassie, I would have gone to see Kyle and tell him that QT betrayed her alliance. Interesting move. As a way to go, hey, I might move. be out of here, but I'm not letting the betrayer win here. So what, what she could have done is see, like... this is why I'd be a horrible player. I'd be like, where's my bestie? Right, I gotta right, see my circle right. bestie. It's like the two losers chit-chat. at the bottom. That's not gonna help <laughs> anybody. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? It's like, go to the top, yeah. poison the well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Realize, hey, Kyle, I'm... I'm sure you guys are besties now because you're at the top, but know that she will betray you and she will turn on you like she did. So you poison the well before you leave so that no one can drink kind of concept. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now Kyle's still like hard eyes with QT. Everything's fine. But Cassie could have totally. That's very left true. With like someone going after QT. Basically. That's very true. Well, she tells Brandon though. She's like, Hey, bottom line QT betrayed me and miles and I were good. And then he threw me under the bus and him and QT are like, clearly in a deep alliance yes yes. um and so then brandon is left with like next morning he's like i want to get in that circle chat and tell everyone but i'm going to instead talk to kyle and lauren privately about not Mm. trusting qt and miles at some point or like get to that point with them um but uh, cassie does leave a message and they find out she's obviously not a catfish and she says my biggest regrets were my alliances Mm. so then everyone's like okay who is she aligned with that's a good rattler and then my, I think her exit line was phenomenal where she's like, I think you should just be yourself on this show, even though my hair is fake, my lashes are fake, my tan's fake. Hopefully one day my boobs are fake. Besides that, <laughs> be yourself. <laughs> that was everything. But I did love the, the, the shot out of the way out about the like, you can't trust anybody. Like I had alliances and look at me, I'm gone now. Yes. So I thought that was a that good was kind good. of, and that's what QT even said. I think that was about me. Oh, 100%. You know. And then when the circle chat opened, okay, this is then when QT makes a move where at first I go, I thought, I'm like, yes, this is it. But then I don't know. She ends up saying, hey, I, she was right away honest. She was like, oh, I feel really bummed about hurting Cassie, but her being in last place via all of you really weighed heavily on me and my decision. And I was yes. like, I I initially was like, oh, I feel like if I'm in the circle and I see QT say that, I go, I can trust QT. QT is literally coming out and taking the power by saying I was the one who hurt Cassie. But QT messed up by saying, I feel bad about like betraying her or something like that. There was a there was a line that she put it up. If it was if it was I felt bad getting rid of her. She's so cool, but, but no, people got to go. The honesty of being like it was me. I, if I was a player in the circle, I'll be real. I would I would be a little bit like, well, I can trust QT because QT literally went in front of the entire circle group chat and said she was essentially who Cassie was talking about about alliances. Uh, yeah, for me, it was more like too too honest. Yeah. Like admitting to drawing a, a picture about someone like Miles did. That's a good honest because that's like enough to make sure that you're honest, but you're not giving away betrayal. Yeah. Versus QT basically ratted herself out and said, oh, yeah, I feel bad. That was me who fully betrayed her. And everyone's like, oh, true. Like it's too much. It was wild, though, because then Autumn is like, who did Cassie go see? And yeah. because Cassie didn't mention Catfish. In the message, Olivia was able to be like, she saw me and she came with the T. Yeah. So Olivia, a.k.a. Brandon, is now in this situation where Brandon's able to be like, I know the T about you know who, Mm -hmm. you know who you are. And if I'm, again, a player, I'm going, 
well, Cassie didn't mention that Olivia was a catfish, so Olivia's not a catfish. And I would be like, oh, Olivia's in the clear. Right. So that gave Brandon a lot of power in the game. And yeah, again, now it gave people going, I want to reach out to Olivia to kind of yep. hear what the tea is. So yep. it kind of puts Brandon in a place of like, oh, now I got some tradeability here. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Miles then comes in and is like, hey, low key, the tea was probably about me and that portrait saving qt romance oh, romance <laughs> romance That's an alliance right i there. mean that is a romance, deep but alliance. also a perfect another, another another good honesty yeah just kind of going yeah sorry but not like saying i'm a bad person just kind of like the portrait was probably too far sorry guys which is the perfect amount of like it is self. but i also did feel like it was kind of a romeo and juliet move i felt like it was he followed was by throwing... pancakes in the morning you know yeah. what i mean like <laughs> he sent her hard pancakes he, he basically like was it was like a movie where they're like gonna kill qt and he's like no it was me and then yeah. they're like <laughs> get him and he's like don't worry there's pancakes at the door as they pull him away into the 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 dungeon it was really romantic was if romantic. i would have been QT in that situation i would have been like ooh la la ooh la la he's like, killing he it is he's in killing love it in the game me. and he's killing it with QT. i think he's gonna wear QT down i don't think QT's <laughs> that into him but oh, by the end QT will be in love and he'll be like we'll split the 100k or whatever the money is I mean, it might happen. It might happen. But like, imagine winning and getting a girlfriend. That's a pretty sick. Win that, would there, be, you know? that would be that would be powerful. <laughs> but Olivia is not buying it. Olivia says mm. that she thinks Miles is the puppet master and that QT is dickmatized. dickmatized That's what Olivia yes. thinks. Um, so then we see players playing. They're hitting each other up in chats. One of the more important parts is that Paul hits up Miles, and he is checking in asking about bro code so happy to hear from miles that bro code is still is still cranking mm -hmm. and uh that's then when miles is like hey let's make this trace fuego the fuego four and paul is officially brought into the kyle qt miles alliance and of course paul is thrilled who brought <laughs> paul, paul in uh, Miles did. Oh, I was going to say, because I feel like Miles is, I was going to say, I kind of forgot about that, that he brought him in because I would feel like Miles would be precious about his Fuego reliance with QT because it's sure. like we're dating. Now Kyle's in a thruple with us and now we got to force but, but, him. I'm like, hey, like I want to be with my girl. But, but I think this QT and Miles were the ones who planned to bring Kyle in. And so they right. had that conversation. Right. Right. So right. as right. far as Miles goes, he's like, yeah, QT, we've got each other. We've got each and other. then let's keep building that sure. alliance. Sure. Like, okay. why not? So now there's the Fuego Four. And now Paul is like, I'm part of I'm part of the 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 band. Yes. Like, we're we're all going on the road together. Yeah, but you're like the bass player. So like, we will get rid of you if you're not. You know what I mean? If you cause any issues. like yeah, You're not the lead singer, we'll the Paul. the bass in the tracks. You know what I mean? Like, chill. Don't get too. I mean, you could see Paul being like, "Now that I'm in the Fuego Four, I call a meeting, a council of the kings." You know what I mean? Like, I could totally see that. What's up, my bros? Who's feeling a little sensitive today? By the way, I'm a total guy. You know what I mean? Like, it's like immediately after is when Paul makes a clay Kyle or a Kyle out of Play-Doh. Yeah, exactly. I love it. Obsessed. Um, that's when they have the vibe check game. This is the game where everyone has to vote on uh, this or that question. Right. But they're not exposed for their answer. So all of us are kind of scratching our head going. Compatibility test. Yeah. But we didn't know, we didn't know well, that it was right. going to be a compatibility, compatibility test. Excuse me. We end up just seeing them having questions like, would you rather fight one bear or 500 chickens? And then they would show the percentage of you know, who voted for what. Yeah. Wild. It was almost 50-50 on everything. Until like the last one or two. They did the bear chicken one. They did cozy night in, wild night out. They did fo phone photo getting leaked or Google searches getting leaked. Um, Jordan was like, I always use private mode. And I'm like, what's that? What's private mode? Um, Is that when you're on Google? Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's like it's like a it's like a mode you can click to so where you can, like, like browse privately. Yeah, it's like, well, I think it's supposed to protect you against like people who can hack you oh. that they don't know what you're doing. But then I've also heard it's bullshit. I've heard that it's 
it's the same. Like, I don't know. Really? I, you know, it's, it's like more conspiracy theory, but I've also <laughs> heard that it's kind of like, it's almost for the user to think that nothing's happening. But if anyone were right. to actually it's hack you, it still there. is all there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, I've never, I didn't really know what that meant. So I was like, what? Yeah. Cause even miles was like, you still can't trust it. Yeah. <laughs> He's the AI guy. He's the like, coder. still can't trust it. <laughs> um, also no sex for a year or no social for a year. This one absolutely sent me when, QT, a businesswoman. She was like, who cares about sex? I use social media. I can make money off of social yeah. media. So definitely no sex for a year. And then when it turns out that most everyone voted, they'd rather be off social for a year and not get rid of sex. She's like, you guys are freaks. <laughs> yeah, She's yeah, like, I'm a businesswoman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, QT had the best answer. She goes, who cares about sex? I'm trying to get paid. It was like the greatest. And then Autumn's like, no sex. Are you out of your mind? Autumn says female ferrets die if they don't have sex for a year. And I'm a female ferret. I say, okay, Autumn, we see you. What's cracking, Autumn? <laughs> okay, Autumn. Yeah. Um, the one about either find your parents find your sex tape or you find your parents sex tape, which is such a wild question. That was a wild one to me. The question, Lee, was would you rather you find your parents sex tape or your parents find your sex tape? And I was like, not even a question. Find my sex tape. I don't have to live with seeing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to live with watching the video of my no. parents. Yeah. Find my sex Burning tape is like retinas. an awkward situation. Oh, that's, yeah. that's worse for them, for sure. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like, going, so like, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. It doesn't but, affect me, though. Yeah, I mean, all of our parents have seen us that are, like, worst and most exactly. embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't want to like, like, look at the script, man. But yeah. I <laughs> no. don't want to be, you know, And it was the opposite. Most that. people voted for, I think, this the flip. Yeah, well, that's Very interesting confusing. social experiment there. Well, what we end up finding out is the answers weren't revealed. We're told that it was a compatibility test for all circle players, and they're going to be paired up with the player based on their answers. But it must be kept secret who they are paired up with. Okay, so we end up seeing the pairs are QT and Jordan, Paul and Kyle, soulmates, uh, Lauren and Autumn, and Olivia and Miles, which for Olivia is worst case scenario because wow. Olivia is now like anti Miles, trying to get rid of Miles, and now they're paired up. So they're having to have these conversations together, right? They're not sure what this compatibility test pairing means. Of course, Paul and Kyle have their conversation and they're like, yes, bros for life. That's when Paul's like, I want to touch your abs, but yes. doesn't, you know, say that in the chat. <laughs> and then we have, um, you know, Lauren and Autumn, they're vibing together. QT and Jordan. Jordan right away does the whole he's lost thing. And QT makes another great gameplay move and said, hashtag Miles said it, not me. But if Lauren's nice to you, don't feel special. A friend to everyone is a friend to no one. Mm. And she keeps throwing Lauren's name out there now, which is smart because Lauren is that kind of middle player that everyone's okay with that could get really far. So QT is mm -hmm. trying to eliminate the middle player. Yes. Um, and then we have the live in Miles conversation. Olivia is like, I don't want to be talking to Miles right now, but I guess here we are. And they're they're both annoyed. They don't want to be in a, in a pairing together. But they end up having an agreement where they say, hey, I'll put you at the top if you put me at the top since we're a pair now. Miles goes, that's not enough. We have to put the same person in the bottom. Smart. Mm. And Olivia's like, okay, fine. He says, you keep QT, you put Autumn in bottom place. And Olivia's like, okay, fine. They don't have some tight alliance. So it's a little bit like, sure, yeah. put Autumn in the bottom. Autumn in the bottom. Autumn in the bottom. <laughs> and then we find out such a twist to this game. Mm -hmm. It sent ripples through my body because it changes everything. We find out that the pairs, their fates are forever tied together because if you get blocked, your, they call it ride or die, yeah. your partner, your ride or die also gets blocked. So now you're in a situation where you're like, I not only have to take care of myself, but make sure that my partner doesn't get blocked. But no one can know who your partner is. You have to keep it fully secret. Makes the game so much better. Way more stressful. Fantastic. Netflix, this was a good, this was a good call. This and, is chaos, pure chaos. And I do feel like this is the first time I ever felt like producer involvement was more obvious to me. Yes, I'm going sure. Kyle and Paul together. Couldn't have said it better myself. Like when it comes when it comes to like 
entertainment worst purposes. case scenario for Ty- kyle, kyle best Kyle's case been scenario really, for paul he's been making his way up in the ranks and he's exactly. feeling great he's got great relationships and now he's gonna have to take care of paul qt <laughs> and jordan right it's kind of like it, it an kinda amazing was player perfect. and a player who thinks exactly. he's amazing miles with olivia, olivia where it's the you ultimate. know what i mean so it kind of yeah. felt like perfectly placed where like people who have it locked are stuck with people who don't and there's yeah. like a ton of fear there so that was like i'm actually glad it wasn't like a true pro- possibly a true compatibility test because it was like it put all the people who felt like they got their shit together on ice yes it made the people who were coasting terrified 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 um i was i could not stop laughing because right before they announced this they had them do a pairs party where they got costumes delivered to their door where like you matched with your pair like ketchup and mustard costume (laughs) and eggs and bacon costume and when they announced this and they went to kyle and kyle was dressed as a giant carrot with like the sprouts coming out of his head and he was just like no, yes. not Paul. Yeah, no, worst case Paul. scenario. That's like you have and a group he's got project. This carrot thing coming <laughs> yeah. out of his head, just like just so bummed out. That's like when you're like a st- like a really good student, and then like you, yes. you're you're in, and they're like yes. group project. Whoever you're sitting next to, and the guy sitting next to you is like high and never shows up to class, and he's like sick. What are we doing? And you're like, oh god. <laughs> I'm, this oh is my like, god that honestly you, that just, you know you. No, you just brought back such a trigger for me because i you know you're you were the total student well, of the year vibes. here's the thing and it's something i've worked on in my life i'm trying to get better at it yeah. i'm too much i'm a perfectionist i'm too hard on myself yeah. so at that point in my life i was like living in eternal schooling anxiety yes. so then when i got paired and i would always and the teachers would do it on purpose because they're like oh well she'll follow I know the through answer. i know the answer this is jessica in, in college me uh, uh, you know, Jessica, we got to give someone else a chance. Oh, I, I understand. You're right. You're right. And then, and then, and then they're like, um, I think and they're like the Byzantine, <laughs> Empire, the Byzantine, just say it Byzantine. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I had an idea, teacher. What if we stayed for an extra 30 <laughs> minutes and listen, just worked on our projects? Listen, guy, just because I showed up to class doesn't mean that I was in the front row raising my hand every five seconds. Maybe I was. Uh, maybe I was. <laughs> and then after class, you're like, you know, can I have one-on-one with the teacher? Like, I just love the, your curriculum this year. I just am amazed I was a it. fan of professors. Do what you can I say? help <laughs> with notes? <laughs> but that's why you got student of the year. You know what I mean? Not me. Anyway. But it just sent a shiver. You just sent yeah. a shiver through my body because how many times the pressure of being partnered with someone that you're like, this person is not going to do the work and yes. I'm okay doing all the work, but sometimes you'd be put in, you know, groups where they're like, you can't do all the yes. work. Yes. You, you have to, it's like a, a presentation sure. project. Mine, because I did co- communications, it was often speaking in front of people. And I'd be like, I know my partner here isn't going to memorize a speech at all. And then I'm going to be standing in front of everybody panicking oh, yes oh the best feeling in the world is when you got someone good yes. i had this one girl named brooke she was fabulous every once in a while she was my class and she would be like come in and she just would nail it nail and it. i would just sit back and i'd be like she's the queen worship her anyway <laughs> <laughs> one thing i want to say this just popped into my head and i kind of thought about it and i'm like paul yeah is the least emotionally attached to the game now that i'm thinking about it paul like we got Perhaps. Kyle. Kyle's getting rattled at the end. He's frustrated about this, that, and the other. Everyone is getting pulled in emotionally. Paul seems to be elevated, like not letting it get to her. You know, it's true. And that might be why Paul wins. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like when you're the person who doesn't care about the audition and you audition, you get it because you don't care. Exactly. And you sense that. There's something about. What's Paul? What's Paul? Caress. Caress. There's something about caress where it's like she's she's kind of fun. She's had, just and having fun. Wild and like says a lot, but it's not tied to emotion because when things go bad for her, she's not like teary eyed and frustrated. No, she she's just, like, just goes no. no. But then you're kind of like, oh hell yeah, oh no, oh yeah. Well, like, caress is a motivational speaker, yeah. so I think she does motivate speak herself strong. quite often. Strong. Just like our psychic was strong, I think maybe we have a strong motivational speaker. I think we in have here. the strongest emotional player, like yeah. the person with the the least, the most fortress around the emotions is mm-hmm. Paul. Yeah, and and that's probably going to be surprising to the other players because Paul is unhinged in the chat. Exactly. So it's like, oh, Paul's the one. Interesting. I just kind of felt that right yeah, now. I'm like, you might be right. We have not seen a tear, an open, honest, even moment where it's like Kyle sharing with Olivia, like my the passing of my dad, all that. Like none of that. It's just 
locked in game mode. Yeah. No, anyway. you might be right. You might be right. Well, the next day comes. Everyone's stressing out because they are now know that their fate is tied <sighs> forever with half this other person. Half of them are stressed, person. half of them are stoked because they're like, yes, Yeah, like okay. Jordan's I, okay. thrilled because he's with QT, preserver. except yeah. now for Jordan, Jordan is forever partnered with the person who is in the romantic relationship with his arch nemesis. That's true. Which is One very, closer, by the way, maybe, very Plankton-ish. It's mm. a very SpongeBob storyline <laughs> okay. that Plankton, Plankton would be put in a situation <laughs> where yeah. Plankton, like he has to be partnered forever with like his arch nemesis's lover. Like it's a very Plankton coded, as the it. kids say. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I don't remember who said it. Maybe it was Jordan. It was like the keep your enemies closer. Mm, I don't think that that was Jordan. It was maybe Kyle, but there's something to it. You're like, okay. Maybe this Miles Jordan thing, maybe, you know, Jordan can use it to get close to Miles to be brought in. Sorry, I'm pulling up a photo of you for you of Plankton. Okay, great. Just thanks. so that you're able to Good, visualize yeah, I was always, this. Thanks. That's the bad guy? Yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> I got it. I, yeah, it is kind of weird. I've never seen an episode. Whoa. That is upsetting, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so we then end up having the players get into a circle scenario game where yeah. each player gets an individual scenario and then they have to uh, say most likely and least likely for each player publicly. So for example, Autumn is given who's um, who is most and least likely to fall in love at first sight. And Autumn says most likely is Olivia and least likely is Paul. Mm. So then people are seeing publicly, right? Kyle, most and least likely to ghost someone. Kyle says, most likely Jordan, least likely Paul. Jordan, most likely and least likely to win the circle. Jordan's now pissed because Kyle has come for him. Yes. And he strategically says, Kyle's the most likely because then people go, oh, Kyle's a game player. And the least likely is Olivia. Paul gets asked who's most and least likely to ditch friends for a date. And Kyle is literally in his apartment going, Paul, Paul, do not say Miles. Yeah. <laughs> do not say Miles. I know you want to say Miles and be like, my bro's going to get it. He knows, of course, he's least likely to, or most likely to ditch someone for a date. He's out here playing. Like, and you're like, no, don't say Miles. Do not put a target on Miles' yeah. back. And, uh, Paul pulls, he pulls it off. He says, most likely Olivia is uh, uh, likely to ditch someone for a date and the least likely is QT. That was a good move on Paul's part. Um, and then Lauren is asked most and least likely to buy likes. Now, Lauren and Autumn are- Some of these questions, like the ditching friends for a date, that's a harmless one. It's kind of like, oh, whatever. But there's some that are really I mean, ditching brutal. friends for a date that is medium. I would say that's one of the least ones. It's medium. Yeah. And here's the thing. Buying likes, Most not a huge deal. Most and least deal. likely to buy likes isn't a big deal. No. But for this game, it might be because it's a little sure. bit like who wants to play to get the most followers? Sure, like sure. who is out here, you know, using social and essentially right. lying on social media by buying sure, followers, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. Now, Autumn and Lauren are paired together. Lauren mm -hmm. is like, I don't know who to do strategically. And she says, Autumn is most likely thinking strategically it might put her the furthest away from Autumn so people won't think that they're paired I think yeah it was a weird it was a move. weird like, choice you have a lot of other options I think that's for me is it's like you didn't ha like Autumn I get it if you're overthinking it like right you do it to Autumn so that no one thinks you're together but you could have chosen anyone else that I seemed know. random you didn't have to go there because then it started what was the then it became a train hate. and everyone after that started voting for Autumn and Autumn's our brand new player. And Autumn's done nothing wrong. Nothing. And Olivia gets asked most and least likely to stab someone in the back, which is a wild one. And she says most likely Autumn. And that was a Miles and her thing. Because they, they said they on. need to put Autumn in the bottom. They need to put Autumn, Autumn in, the bottom. in the bottom. Autumn in the bottom. Autumn in the bottom. But of course. And so Olivia says, it's like, I have to prove to Miles that I'm going to be faithful. I'm gamer, yeah. And I'm going to put Autumn in the bottom by saying she's most likely to stab someone in the back. And she says least likely Lauren, which is Autumn's partner, which is a whole wild thing. Yeah. And then QT most and least likely to kiss ass. She says Autumn. It was just a, it was an avalanche at this point. Miles is most and least, least likely to catfish. And then he says Autumn. It was the perfect storm. And and he says least likely Olivia. Yes. Okay. We see people like Kyle going, is Autumn? What it 
is autumn out here playing people right. like, like what's going on autumn's the devil apparently out of nowhere like and everyone hates her autumn starts like crying Rattled. and you can tell autumn's like a tough cookie and so her crying i like i felt really bad like i know it's a game and so yeah in the back of your mind you have to be like hey this isn't a personal thing they obviously don't know me this is all about the game and like rankings that are coming up but bro i would be i would be really hurt It'd be like i'd be walking really in the door out. to party and everyone's just like boo yeah. you're like, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't like i just wanted to hang it'd be so hard not to take it personally yeah. and then olivia to have no context either too like no i didn't even context. try anything or do anything no or burn context. someone and then olivia comes in and is just like hey girl i just wanted to check in on you yeah. and uh, autumn comes in and is like Real backstabbers place blame, and that's what you did today. I see your true colors. It was like you and are not came welcome here for Olivia. And then Olivia keeps trying to kind of mend it, and is like, "Hey, I've been bullied. I know what it's like." And then real Olivia Brandon is like, "No, I really do feel it, and I feel for her, and I see her feeling ostracized, and I know what that feels like." Yeah. But then Autumn's translation of this is she goes, cool. So you're telling me that you know what it feels like and then you're going to do it to me. Which is doubling. Can't trust you. Doubling how bad it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was a tense. It was a very tense moment. But <sighs> but Autumn then played it well because then Autumn yeah. was like, hey, no worries. Alliance, right? But then Olivia wouldn't do an alliance with her. You know what? There's Wild. just it's Twisty. just that's when B Brandon is too sensitive. What it's do like you mean? He was one of five people that jumped on the thing and but, beat, but beat he down. said backstab that was a big I understand one. but like at the same time hide in the crowd in the mob at that <laughs> oh point. my god no seriously no i know now you're right singling game, yourself but it just out feels so wrong to say out no, loud of course, it's all bad but it's more like if you go out of your way to like connect with her and it doesn't go well yeah you just now now all the bad hate that she got is about olivia yeah and now you made it even worse by saying, I've been bullied. It'd be like if you have a bloody nose from getting bullied and the bully's going, I've been bullied too. I know it's hard out there. And you're kind of going, wait a second. Yeah. What? Like it, it, it makes it twice as bad. I hear you. So now Olivia is like trying to be sweet and nice. But at the same time, you, if you're going to be cold, you, you got to be cold. Like yeah. you intentionally are cold because then she votes for her later. And it's kind of like, okay, you're double cold. You, you, you were cold. You confessed your sadness to her. And, and said, you, her I got your back. And then you you were cold again like yeah that's worse than just being straight up cold it's true well strategy continues because paul then starts chatting it up with lauren who he has a vendetta <sighs> against makes her essentially feel like they're good to go and then paul is gonna put yeah. her in the bottom like paul Brutal. paul has a vendetta out for lauren and it makes me laugh it's like <laughs> why paul just <laughs> needs to have someone to go after <laughs> like you're too nice like there's no real even reason but he then uh they like they make up and he's got a game plan going in the back of his mind this is also when paul does start singing alone in his slash caresses apartment kyle is my guy my ride or die so paul is now also yeah, singing songs developing. alone about kyle in his apartment and yeah. i feel like again my she's the man fantasy really is coming to fruition yes. i feel really good about it i feel really good about it um <laughs> And then finally we have the rating time, but they find out, God, they're giving us good twists. They yeah. took Max away. It pissed me off, but they are giving us good twists this season. We find out it's time to be, it's uh, rating time, but this time the bottom rated player will be blocked from the circle. There will be no influencers. They aren't the top two who's going to strategically vote someone out. Whoever is in the bottom is going to get kicked out, which means whoever's partnered up with the person in the bottom is also getting kicked out. And we find out that this time the lowest rated players and partners are Kyle and Paul. Mm. Oh. So tragic. Really tragic because so upsetting. I I'm, like both of them. In I this. know, I know. And I like I like for different reasons, you know? I like Kyle a lot just like as a person. Yeah. And I think Kyle seems like I like Deuce too, his dog. I love it brings Deuce. an element that I like. Absolutely love Deuce. Love him as a dog dad. And Caress absolutely tickles my fancies. And I, I love, I want her around. And I'm bummed. And that Paul's hectic and what? Yeah, sorry. Caress is hectic and brings a completely different energy, opposite vibes. But I will say, I would prefer Kyle to go home because I, I, of I the chaos Paul. that Paul brings. <laughs> and it's like, and then and then if he survives, 
if caress survives it'll be <laughs> insufferable <laughs> you know what i mean it's perfect kyle survives he's kind of doing it for the right reasons he's guys like i'm doing it for my family so no we need Paul to survive. Paul. To well, just I'm sure keep... Caress is doing it for the right reasons yeah, but not too. AKA, about it. they we want that know. money. We don't, we don't know. know. We don't yeah, know we don't what Caress wants. But listen, we then are thrown another twist, which is they're told that they are both getting blocked from the circle. But one of you now has a chance to save your ride or die. Yeah. You can make a sacrifice and block yourself from the circle and then your partner will be saved and stay in the circle. Here's the problem. If both of you say, I'm staying, both get blocked. And if <laughs> both of you say, I'm sacrificing, you both get blocked. Mm. So it has to be the perfect math that lines up where one says I'm staying and one says I'm sacrificing. And both of them are like, you see them in their separate apartments and Kyle's like, hell no, I've worked hard for this. I've made the right moves. I'm not going. And Caress is like, I'm absolutely not leaving. Yeah. So both of them seem like they do not, they're not going to make the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. But if then all of a sudden strategically, they're like, maybe I should. And they both make the sacrifice. They'll both get blocked too. You have to say I'm staying. It's your only you option. To. Yeah. Because if, either you, way, if you say I'm not staying, you're going to go home either way. Yeah. So you just have to say I'm staying and hope the other person has a heart. And I love Paul, Paul heartless, because <laughs> Kyle's sitting there going like, you got to let me do this, man. It's for my family. Well, please, please. Single, we're, you know, yeah. and, you know. and Paul's like, Paul's like, I'm obsessed with Kyle, but I'll kill him to get to the top. Like, that's what shows you Paul's on another level. I was Because he's like, he's been obsessed. He, you know, caresses, drawing abs and holding <laughs> his, holding the voodoo doll and just like in love and like crushing on him, but is still just like. No, but would it all I, cost? I thought that it was going to be the ultimate Jesus moment and that Paul was yes, going to be like, like because of my for, love for Kyle, yes, I will lay down and I will allow Kyle to stay and I will leave. And I loved it. It was like, hell no. But I'm not getting that energy. I think no. Caress is going to stay. But they left us then on that cliffhanger and cliffhanger. that's where we're left. And I think both of them are going to say they want to stay. I hope both they do this thing like whoever sacrifices gets to stay. Like if someone goes, you know what? I'll sacrifice myself. And then they stay because it's like a, you know, oh, a Jesus complex or twist. something. Yeah. You know where I mean? they're like, oh, good wow, job being a good person. You were such a good person. We'll let you stay. But now I will say if you're playing the game outside of the game, if you're playing the game for the sake of social media followers, not a bad idea to sacrifice yourself. Sure. Because then people, people are like, really wow, like that's really a generous, loving person mm -hmm. who's willing. And, you know, in the reunion, even if you've been you know, made mistakes throughout the game in the reunion, people are going to be like, look at the one who sacrificed themselves, yeah. you know, and yeah. you have your, like your moment. So mm -hmm. that there's that to think about too. Big time. You got to think about your game outside of the game too. So much gameplay. So much gameplay. It's too much for my little brain. Anywho, family, oh. uh, love you all. We had so much great, fun watching. Great season I'm, so far. I'm super, I, like I said, I've said it a million times, was upset about Max, hope he gets brought back, but they did give us some massive twists and turns in this yeah. these four episodes, so I am very excited to find out next week what happens with Kyle and Paul. Mm -hmm. Hopefully an angel comes down and says you both can stay, and they kick out two other people instead, because yes. I want them there. Agreed. Um, well, family... Have a beautiful weekend. Uh, yeah. We'll see you next Wednesday you. to talk the next four episodes of The Traitors. Mm -hmm. love, are you saying you love me or love the family? Was that just like the, a general I love you that to was like just, all? That was just, you are amazing mm -hmm. and our listeners are amazing and Lee's mm -hmm. amazing. You, the collective you. Oh, I love but that. But you the most. Thank you. Yes, I, I thank you, you for the <laughs> for the most love. <laughs> love, love you all. Love you all. Love you. Have a beautiful you. weekend. Love you. Yep. Love you. See you my, or Wednesday, Wednesday, excuse me, yeah. for the next four episodes of The Trader Season 2, and then next Friday for the next four episodes of The Circle. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Love you all. All right, family. Bye. Bye.